I've got gadgets and gadgets aplenty. I've got oozits and what's its galore. You want Christmas balls? I've got plenty. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. Good morning. I'm back. I'm not only back on YouTube, I'm actually back from some trips I've been taking. And you know what I've been doing on these trips? I've been filming every single thing so I can share it with you. Today, the video I have is a sneak peek look at Christmas 2023. I know, right? Not only am I gonna show you the things that you can anticipate seeing in the stores, I'm also gonna show you what I picked out for next Christmas for my own home. Super fun. I've laid all my clothes out from my trip. This is a really cute cabbie suit that I got this year. And uh, Tammy Zellner is my stylist. If you like this kind of thing, it's a really cute. It's like a tuxedo print. I always lay all my clothes out because I kind of want to get a, you know, like an overview of everything I'm going to be wearing that week. But it's also an insurance policy because having my clothes filmed, videographed, or videographed is that even a word it's not photographed on video is a way for me to prove what i took in case in the unlikely event of a water landing or any kind of landing that does not land back in my closet when i get home this is a fun sweatshirt that i bought when i was in san diego it just says design it has long sleeves i still have some things in the laundry but this is also a wilhelmina blouse i got this for christmas from trizia in australia Look at the sleeves. They are just gorgeous. So I'll wear these two things out at night. I'm at the Tulsa airport on my way to Dallas. I'm wearing my design sweatshirt. Isn't that so cute? Um, yeah, so let's see. I gotta get to my gate, but I just wanted to say um, I'm excited to go and see what Christmas 2023 is all about for this year. I have my, right here, my tripod, <laughs> so that I can uh, film everything for you. So I look forward to sharing what I see and what I find. And I'm gonna be there for a week, so it's gonna be a really fun trip. I've even got some, uh, some spa things scheduled, as well as a really nice hotel that I'm staying at. So I'll let you guys see all about it. And who I'm going with, any guesses? It's not Scott. Okay, I'll tell you that. I wish it was in a way, but I'm super excited. I'm going with a girlfriend and we are going to have a blast. Arrived safely in Dallas. Let's do this. a nice mini bar over here and a refrigerator a television area and desk and quite a stunning view of downtown Dallas there's a lovely sitting area and yes I did have engineering come and place the art light on the piece of art your engineering yes can see this spotlight up here it needs to be t facing that piece of art not facing my eyes Please paint to the picture. yes thank you jose for doing this uh that's so much better oh uh, it's the first time i had to move that light really but you just said all of the rooms are just like that yeah, the light is facing is out yes. and this is the first time you've ever been asked to yes <laughs> The only downside in this room, I would say, is I love this dressing area. So I had them bring up this rolling rack for our additional clothes because this closet is just not big enough for two women for a week. So my guest who will be arriving shortly will probably really appreciate that we added that. And I moved this bench, this used to be over here I moved it here so there'd be room for that extra rack. 
a gorgeous bathroom, a glassed in toilet room, and a walk-in glass shower that doesn't have a door, which I like. And then you walk into da 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 this beautiful bedroom. Got the TV over here and credenza, but look at this wraparound windows. It's a corner room. I think it's called a corner king. This will be beautiful at night, I'm sure. My guest has just arrived. Her car just pulled up and I'm going down the elevator to get her and you guys will get to see who it is that's joining me on this very fun trip that we've taken to Dallas. <gasps> she's here! Oh, Sarah! Oh, she's here! Um, chicken flatbread for you. Doesn't that look so good? Oh, it does. That looks amazing. I know. Yeah. Not bad for room service. And then I've got chips <laughs> and salsa and guacamole. So let me give you sort of the setup. My girlfriend, Sarah from Wisconsin, many of you've met her. She and I became friends here because of my YouTube videos and because of the design sessions. She's a member and she had decorated her home in Wisconsin. I went out to meet her and to see the home for the first time, and then I went back and decorated for Christmas. What I didn't know when I first met Sarah was Sarah actually owns her own Christmas store. So for the last couple years, we've been talking about, we should go to market together. We should go to market together. Well, this year we did, and we left the day after New Year's. So what was so fun about it is that Sarah and I decided we not only want to go to market, we also want to have a couple spa days. So we decided to put market in the middle, spa day on the front, spa day on the end, and make it a girl's trip. Did you see what that is? That is a cold plunge pool. My friend Sarah is thinking about going in it. This whole time we've been in this, the hot jacuzzi pool, drinking those orange juice things. <laughs> what are they called? Anyway. She's gonna do it. Are you gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Old plunge. Old, what the hell? Ah! Oh my gosh! How cold is it? It's cold. But the most fun part was being outside in that jacuzzi, just, you know, sipping on, what are those things? They're champagne and orange juice. It's a, leave me a comment below. What is that called? Screwdriver? No. Is that a screwdriver? No, it's a, I'll think of it. Oh, we just got out of the sauna, the hot sauna, the steam shower, <laughs> the retin-a, no. Infrared. Infrared, retin-a too. Infrared, the cold plunge, we've done everything. And we're now sitting in the waiting room, waiting for our treatment by our massage therapist. Such a fun day. And I gotta say, the massage was probably the second best massage I've ever had in my life. That girl, her name is Janina. Her name is Janina. If you can get a Janina to do your massage, you should. Today is the first day of market for us. Sarah's getting the last of her stuff and we are about ready to head to the Dallas Trade Center where we are gonna look at all this Christmas stuff and uh, yeah, we're gonna take you along for the ride and I hope you guys have fun seeing what is gonna be new for Christmas 2023. And on that first day, we got a ride to market and this is the day that we met Trey. Trey ended up being our guy. On our second day, which is what we call the official first day of market. Do you guys know what market is, by the way? Market is where people go to buy products wholesale, then they put them in their stores retail. If you wanna ask the question, can I go there? Not unless you have a wholesale license. But here's, oh my gosh, the part that's the most important, the part that I haven't even told you yet. Okay, here is what is 
the best thing about Christmas 2023. For the first time ever, Shara and I are going to be able to offer you guys to purchase any of the stuff that you see in our homes that was purchased at market this year. We are partnering with a local a Tulsa company here. It's called Amber Marie. It's a mother-daughter business, just like Shara and I are mother-daughter. And they buy deep. You know what that means? That means when I show you something on my tree and you go, oh, I want that, you can click in a link below and they're most likely going to have it because they're going to buy in great quantity. That's always been our issue is usually I go, you know, to Shinoda. A lot of you have purchased things through Shinoda, but I go and I look at their stuff after they bought it. In this case, I'm going to market and I'm picking out the things that I want. Our plan was this, we're gonna scope it out. We are not gonna buy anything. We are not gonna be tempted by all the gorgeous, beautiful things. We're just gonna be looking. everything that's out there. What are the trends for 2023? Uh, what are the things that are available? And I'm telling you guys, this is like a tall building with nothing but Christmas stores. Like you can't possibly look at everything. Christmas balls in every color you could possibly think of and in every size. Talk about nativity scenes. Oh my gosh, some of the most beautiful nativities I've ever seen. Every kind of Santa, that's ever been conceived is at market. We are about to walk into one of my favorite stores in all of market, it's called D. Stevens. I feel like I need to bring in more of this gray. This also takes on a silver too, yeah, as the light hits silver. it. You can see the gold in it, yeah. so it's more flat. It really goes both directions. This is the lady who owns the store. She lives on a houseboat in Hong Kong, and she's the designer of all of these ribbons. So right now, I'm loving this gray, warm gray, champagne and gold color combination for going back to a more glammy look next year. Debbie. Debbie. Yeah, Memphis area. And you own a boutique? Um, I do. And you're yeah. I've, I've told you to watch her. Remember the Broken Glass? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and okay. last year, the musical instruments. Oh, did you like that? I just watched your video the other day. Oh, she had me sit and watch YouTube. I've been yes, I just watched, watched it. it. With oh, the musical yeah. instruments on your tree. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what are some of the trending things that we saw? Uh, purple is going to be a big color this next year. Almost every story we went into had at least one purple display, which I thought was interesting. Um, but it's not the dark purple. It's more like a lavender, a soft lavender. And some people, you know, put in all shades of purples together. That was pretty. I really liked purple with red. I thought purple with red was really pretty. So lots of purple. Also a soft green, almost like a, almost like a mint green. Mint green was also a big display. Obviously red and green, you're gonna see that everywhere. But the thing about market is you don't just see red and green, you see red and green in every possible theme you can think of. One of the themes that Sarah's gonna do this year is a ski lodge, which I think is adorable. And all these like, you know, little sweaters and like everything you can think of and super cute, really cute stuff. Um, we also saw that the organic look, you've seen in Shara's house, for example, she has beautiful garlands and they look real. They're like a cedar. That's gonna be, that's gonna play big again this next year. And um, a lot of the bells, we saw 10 bells, bells that were made out of wicker that were woven. Of course, the antique brass bells are gonna be big again. When it comes to the greens, you know, typically, Every year I've done Christmas, there's either you know, green for your garlands and your centerpieces and your wreaths and things like that. They're totally green. Or they are flocked. At market, 
We saw iced things everywhere. So that's gonna be a huge look. Oh my gosh. And okay, let's go back to, you see this? It's tinsel. Tinsel is gonna be big this next year. That's kind of cool. This whole first day, we're just walking through and seeing everything and getting goosebumps, you know, and taking, oh my gosh, pictures. I had two phones with me. I have two phones. And um, I took over a thousand photos the very first day of market. And the reason I do that is because then I can lay it all out and see what I like and, you know, what I'm gonna do the next day. But that first day was all about what's out there. My boots are toast. <laughs> like, I'm ready to get one of those scooters. I don't care what it costs. We're going to get a scooter, and you're going to sit in the basket, Sarah. We're going out to dinner, and we asked Trey where to go, and he said go to the Beehive. So, Trey, are you? Beehive is great. You're, you're taking us there, it. right? We're going to walk over here now. Oh, that's so it's nice. Be an amazing night for you. Do you think of us as like your mom? No, y'all are more like fun older sister. <laughs> oh my god, we, yeah, yeah. we love him! Oh. <laughs> older sister, I can take yes. that. Yes, thank you. Like Trey. in a heartbeat. Thank, thank you, Trey. Thank you. Thing that comes in, in it pops yeah. open. I don't know how to do this. Okay, TMI, Sarah. Okay, you can order us those those tacos you're talking about. And lo and behold, after we'd finished dinner, someone came walking up to me, and she and her husband were at the restaurant, and she recognized me, and I just was like so blown away. These people were so thoughtful and so kind. They own an interior design store. I mean, they were there for market. And so, um, anyway, that was kind of cool. As fun as it was that first day to just essentially window shop, uh, the next day was going to be the hard part because now we've seen everything that's available this year. What are we gonna pick? For Sarah, I think she picked five or six or seven different themes because she's got a store. But for me, I needed to decide what am I gonna do in my house next year? Because that's why I was there, to pick out all my stuff and to let Amber Marie know what I'm using so they can buy deep. Well, from there, I was able to create uh, a vision in my mind. And then I just take those, those ribbons. At first, I had a whole handful. I ended up just saying, okay, I only need the one. I need that hero ribbon, the gray with the gold on the sides. So I took that with me and I held it up to what? Christmas balls, Christmas balls. So I found balls that are gold and that are bronze that are smoky gray. Then I had this idea because I was looking at all these colors thinking, I feel like there needs to be a, a when I say a pop of color, I don't mean a pop because I, it's a very, luxurious i'm going super glam this next year super super glam but i wanted to have an extra color in there and as i was looking at balls i found that my ribbon the certain shade of gray in the center actually looks really good with the soft blue color that i saw a lot at market so flatback trees are not completely unusual but um, you can find them, but you don't ever find them this tall. I just love these. Look at these guys. And I love these too. So here's what I think. I've been walking around with this ribbon all day, as well as my jewels. And I'm thinking this is what I need to do. When I get home today, I'm gonna download all of the photos that I've taken today. 
and I'm going to create a mood board, just like I would do as a designer for a client's project. And so now, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create something where I can see on one page everything I have planned for next year. That way I don't buy what I don't need. I can see it all together and I do buy what I do need. Then we went back to the hotel and we got ready because we had dinner out again. And this time it was with my friend Kirsten. So many of you have contacted me over the years and asked me, where do I get that lamp? Where do I get that chandelier? Well, it all comes from Kirsten from Blackwell Lighting. Kirsten was at market too, so we met up and had a really nice dinner. By the time I went to market for day three of market, I decided, okay, I need to choose between, am I gonna do a green tree? This next year, I'm not gonna do the three, I'm only gonna do a single one this next year. Am I gonna do a green tree? Or am I gonna do a flocked tree? I didn't wanna do iced, cause I just did it. And I decided I'm gonna go back to flocked. So imagine those ribbons on all white snow looking greens. Well, they're white greens, but you know what I mean. So now it was time to pick a tree and to pick all of my garlands, a wreath, um, the picks that I wanted to use. So I laid all, you know, I went out and I looked specifically for those things. And boy, did I find some beautiful stuff. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. I've seen a lot at market that's pretty cool. And of course, Sarah and I have found a lot of things and we've purchased a lot of things. But in all these showrooms, you know, everyone tries to do their ta-da, big, big tree. I think I have found my favorite. So it's a tree, and I'm thinking maybe it's a five foot ish. And it's airy, but not as airy as the one I used this year at my house. So it's got some fullness. But what I love is what they did on the table by stacking all this greenery. These are essentially really nice garlands, and they're super soft. They're not pokey like sometimes they are, right? Then they've added birch logs and birch balls to it. Look at these twigs, the sticks. And they've just sort of brought them out from the center. And I think, honestly, this is absolutely a showstopper. I would put this in my home if I had a nice big foyer for it. <laughs> I heard that Rebecca Robinson is here, <laughs> and I said, so and she was, I was telling her who you were, someone just called me, and they said, she's on your level. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yes. We've got eyeballs out there. Can I eyeballs have a picture with you? Of course. You? Is it okay? Yeah. If you ever see me somewhere, don't be shy. Come up and say hello. I love meeting you guys. Oh, you're so sweet! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! What is your name? Christina. Christina. Yeah, I'm nice from Mexico. Oh, wow. And, and I'm such a big fan of you. So Trey's on his way. And we got to get to Trey in our car that's coming from the hotel. So guess what? Sarah is going to start running. Go! With those little tiny legs of yours. Just make it happen. Yeah. Wait. You've got elf legs. I think we bought some elves for Christmas, didn't we? A bit of traffic, but we're on our way home and we're gonna have ourselves dinner. Dinner. Mm. We're hungry. I don't think we had lunch, did we? No. Oh, no. You know. look how dedicated we are <laughs> to this whole shopping thing. <laughs> we got some good stuff today, right? Yes. Oh, amazing. amazing. <laughs> oh, yay, super excited about Christmas 2023. At this point, uh, Sarah and I had done so much shopping. I'm telling you what, you need to wear comfortable shoes at market because that is a lot of walking. When we got home that night, we dolled up and we went out for our nicest dinner of our entire trip. And it was at a restaurant called The Monarch. We could not even get reservations for The Monarch. It was completely packed. But Eric was one of the guys we met um, a couple nights before. He actually got us in and not only in, but the best table in the house. Beau. Beau Arsenalier. 
was amazing. Tell me how to how to pronounce sommelier because I always Som sommelier. 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 Yeah. Sommelier. Like sommelier. Oh. I don't know about you, but uh, if you can have an amazing dinner, delicious wine, and a view, that is like golden. If you ever get a chance to go to the Monarch in Dallas, you should do it. After three days of shopping at Market and, you know, like shopping till we drop, um, we treated ourselves to the other side, our sandwiched in uh, massage spa days, and we had the most amazing facial at my favorite spa in the world. It's called The Jewel. Wonderful, relaxing, amazing. Yeah, so we're at The Jewel which you guys have heard me talk about so many times here. I'll come over here. And we both just had facials, and then we took a hot, um, steamy sauna, or, you know, whatever, yep. super steam. Then we did a hot, dry sauna. Then we just took a 30-minute nap, and now our food is here. And we have been in the amazing sauna pool. An experience at the Jewel that we'll never forget, no. right? Back at the hotel, I just continued to work on my pages doc that laid everything out so I could see what it is that I want, what I want to buy, and do I have it all? And then I realized that flat-backed Christmas tree would look so good in, you know how this year I had the pine cones hanging on my green wall? What if I did two tall, skinny, half-back Christmas trees on either side of that? On either side of my pianos in the middle. <gasps> but then it meant I needed to go back to market in order to find out what the name of that was because I was just walking by when I saw it and I didn't go in and get any information. So we had to make one more trip back to market on the day we were not planning to. So of course I said, listen, I'm just putting on a hat. I'm not doing my makeup. I'm not nothing. You just put on some jeans and a hat and let's go incognito. Guess what? It's Sunday. And we're back at market. We thought we were done, but there is this one tree that I really liked. And I took a picture of it, but I didn't take a picture of the detailed information. <laughs> so we just jumped in the car from the hotel, came back over here. We're gonna figure this out. And hopefully we'll be able to find this darn thing. I mean, so many floors, so many stores. Oh, that rhymed. Okay, well, I know it's not that one. All right, wish us luck. I'm feeling good. inspire me since for a long time, oh, so thank you. That's so sweet. I'm glad you said hello. Yeah, but Sometimes I find out later, oh, I saw you somewhere. It was great to, you know, <laughs> fan girl. I was like, oh, fan girl. Well, I was yeah, hoping to see you, but good. I'm you so are glad awesome. You I don't want to. No. Jackie. Jackie but, Cruz. Nice yeah. to Go Facebook. You. you can find me. It's J. Cruz Christmas Gallery. You can J. see my work. J. Cruz. Yeah. I do videos. Yeah. So do you? you? Know, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so okay. much. And uh, happy shopping. All right. Thank you. I was kind of like, oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> yes, it's me. And one lady, actually, because I was incognito, she would not have recognized me because I, you know, she recognized my shirt that I was wearing. Why? Because she follows me on Instagram. And like I said, I lay all my clothes out and I film it and I usually put it on Instagram. She recognized my shirt. You had all your stuff in your bed. I have to have a picture. Oh, I have okay, to. Okay, let's do that. Always feel that night, we had dinner reservations again, and it was a place that I had gone to for my birthday last year. Shara took me. It's a place that's hard to get in, and a place that I knew Sarah would love as much as I do, because you know where it is? It's the top floor in Restoration Hardware. To our last night in Dallas. It's been a great trip. Are these that my is friends following? It looks so good. <laughs> We're leaving our 
favorite place on earth, and that is Restoration Hardware. Oh yeah. All right, Trey's on his way. Let's go. Cause I found my place where I'm always feeling good. We got our guy, Trey, uh -huh. who has been driving us since the moment we arrived. <laughs> We've probably been driving him too. Kind of crazy, maybe <laughs> no, something no. like that. Uh huh. <laughs> no. Okay. I love this. You're say that again. I am going to miss you all. Really? A lot. A lot? A lot. And not, most of the time, my rides are not nowhere near as fun as or entertaining conversation wise. <laughs> <laughs> I know, basically we're the mother that you're so glad you don't have. <laughs> the one that, you know, most kids are super embarrassed of. Yeah. yeah. I know, but at least we're a good time, right? Yeah, we're a good time. We're a good time. It was a great trip. We got everything that we wanted. And you guys, I mean, I'm all, I already know what I'm doing for Christmas this year. And hopefully any of the things that I got and, you know, Shara too. Shara was not at market, but she also, I, I found things for her that she's gonna be using this next year and you guys are going to have access to it. But here's another highlight. Okay, you guys know that I use spinners. A uh, vast majority of you found out about spinners on your tree through my videos. Well, now that trees are LED lit, spinners don't work on LED. They don't, I don't know if anyone's gonna invent that or if it's impossible because you'd think that they would have by now. But guess what they do have? They have um, a USB, uh, you plug it in. Yeah, you just plug it into a regular outlet. And then this, well, I'll let her explain it to you. So you would hang your ornament on this little hook mm -hmm. and then the USB end, you, we have extension cords that plug into a regular wall unit, mm -hmm. just as you would plug in your cell phone to charge it. That's true. Do you know that those were the very first type of ornament I ever saw? Oh, a spinner. On your spinner. It was the so, mirrored we'll ball. It. And it's I mean, too, what a better way to show. Yeah, it is to this day my favorite oh, so spinner. So, I'm so it's secured on the it. hook. Yeah. Then you plug your USB in. Yes. Oh, we could do an 80s. There Something you go. 80s. Awesome. Right? Very popular right now. Right? So, Is it? Oh, I have to get my yes. leg warmers out again. Me going to market um, is kind of giving me an opportunity to keep Christmas going. For those of you who, I mean, some of you are just like so over Christmas. Right now, I am over Christmas. Let me tell you, this stuff has been up since September. So it has got to go. But, um, you know, a lot of you get excited about Christmas. And if you do, then it's kind of fun to see what the trends are going to be for next year. So guys, thanks for watching today and coming back to see my videos, even though it's after Christmas, it's still a Christmas video. Um, and I just want to tell you next week, I'm going to take you on another trip with me to San Diego. And I can tell you this, that uh, six days that I was gone were probably the most action packed six days that I can remember in my life. So be sure to come back for that. It's gonna be great. And we have a huge surprise to tell you about. And I just have all kinds of videos that are gonna be coming out. That's why you haven't seen me for a few weeks is because I've been traveling and I've been out there making, the th making things happen, filming it, and it's on its way to you as we speak. So if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel and join the over a million people who love to come here and be inspired, encouraged, laugh a little, sometimes cry, not very often, uh, and, and be a part of the YouTube thing that we do here. It's super fun and uh, just know that I love you guys, all right? You know that's true, right? Here's a quote for you. I love quotes. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So I want you to know I care. I care about you and I hope I get a chance to meet some of you guys someday. All right, if I do, if you see me, come up and say hello. All right, you guys, see you next time. Bye-bye.